Yo, it's just another day in the park, you know, we just got these people outside, just kicking it on the bench, having a little picnics and whatnot, you see the guys over the corner, with their buds and the middle of lights and whatnot, and on the other side, you got them playing basketball, you see I mean it. you got the ladies over there slaving over a good meal, yeah. Come out, kick and enjoy a little moment of a memory pose, around my people, giving up their problems like a free throw, resembling some b that bloody up sidewalks through a pollutant <laughs> Boosters boosting A bootleg is distribution To sell our shit for a cheaper price That's not a solution Cause you stealing money from me From helping communities I guess it's like fuck that Cause this is who we be We chilling on the bitch Talking shit Scoping around the environment People setting up barbecues Busting out the tents uh, I take a listen These chicks up on the side of me Is down to whoever this chick is Name Kim I should call them Bonitas Cause they ain't the ones that gossip So I ain't heard it from them Why they talking yo They long over Hey everybody, my name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Reading. Alright, so, here we are. I'm going to do your reading, Taurus. I love you, Taurus. You guys are awesome. Taurus is my favorite earth sign. My, my husband is a Taurus, so. And my son. My son is May 10th, and I love Taurus. Taurus are a little possessive, but they are so good. Good people. A little possessive, though. The men. Let me tell you a quick story. I've been having a lot of bees on my front porch. So I saw a big-ass shadow just now, and I thought it was one of them bees. You know, my first instinct is to, oh, no. But it's not. It was a bird. It was just really close to my fucking part, like my porch. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what's up with these bees and shit. But I won't have one during this slide. It just like kind of reminded me of my fear. I have a fear. Candyman is not my favorite book. <laughs> I heard Key and Peele are making Candyman over. Oh, I gotta see that. All right, my bad. Let's go back to this reading. So, um. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and go viral, people. Oh shit, money. I know, I know that's right. Ooh, somebody about to get some money. Towards your car is already looking quite nifty. You may have a water sign, girlfriend, or a wife who is very intuitive, cancer Pisces, Scorpio, and they're offering you a offer deal of a lifetime. It's so damn good. God is giving you a coin. So not the sky. All right, Taurus, for the month of October, what is your future? What does it say? For the month of October. King of Rods. That's a Leo. I'm so sorry, y'all. I literally, I'm glad I got interrupted now. They're in the middle of your reading. But it's cool. It was a client of mine. Oh, I, I I always talk about my clients. My clients will call me when I'm doing a live, or I'll say I'm doing a bunch of videos, and I'll just like wait until I'm done. They always get the hint later on that I'm not answering. I think that reading should be peaceful, and just to have someone else's energy, and especially without an appointment, is kind of rude to y'all. All right, so um, I got the King of Rods. I got the Six of Swords. I got the Four of Wands. my Taurus friends in October. I got a horse right now. I'm cleaning my house. I love my husband. Okay. Alright, and you got hangman and lovers. Ooh. And then you got the seven of cups, the ace of swords, and the knight of rods. Okay, that's what you said. Alright. Two cards are separating. Okay, so it seems like Taurus, you you are if you have any Leo in your chart, you could have Leo. A man who is very creative, very powerful, very impacting. The King of Rods is fine. Like, you see him, you're like, damn, oh my God. He is attractive. Um, he knows he is, too. He got that rod. He just stand there, like, give me attention. And all the girls are like, huh. <laughs> you know? I love the King of Rods because he's confident and cocky at the same time. And it's a perfect blend. It's not too much. 
This is too goddamn much. And this is perfect. That's if you like the alpha male. Now. I see here. Someone's moving. Taurus, you could be moving. Or someone could be moving. Moving away. Wishing things were different, but or you're taking a, a, a some type of quest. Or maybe you're going overseas. But you are leaving somewhere. You're going on a trip. You got your mom or like two kids. Made by boat. It puts a damper on your family. You leaving and going away. The Seven of Cups and Ace of Rods. So the Seven of Cups is about um, clarity. And the Ace of Rods is about truth. You were confused before. And now you've gotten some information that's really helped them stick you. And the Ace of Rods is about truth and breakthrough. You learned something. Someone's whispering to me. You learned something. That completely changed the course of your life. And the Knight of Rods, it... He's an impetuous kind of guy. He runs and goes after a lot of stuff. But in the Knight of Rods, in this situation, I get the, fix, the feeling of... Uh, maybe a Scorpio or a Sagittarius that was not very consistent moves. Let me see. What is the Six of Rods in the Knight of Wands? Five of Pentacles, homelessness. You moved because you were homeless. What's the, why is the Knight of Rods in there? Page of Cups and Five of Cups, a child. A, dis a disappointment. Maybe you had a child that disappointed you. Um, from, let's see. Yeah, Page of Cups is about situations that make you disappointed from childhood or giving your heart to the wrong person. Um, someone is a dreamer or quixotic. He's ashamed of his child. Someone's ashamed of their children. What's the uh, page of cups? Could be a water sign, kid. Or the, let's see, what's the page of cups? Uh -oh. The moon. Secret. The secret. Something that is trying to be pushed down. It's going to be revealed in the most interesting way. Or they're paranoid. Going back and working on something. What's the moon and the page of cups? What is the moon and the page of cups? The ten of swords. Betrayal or sickness. Someone that you know could be sick. A mom could be sick. Maybe they can't take care of their children. Maybe they're homeless. Mom could be homeless. Um, what is the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands? Many cards came out. I'm going to take this one too. Okay, so um, uh, someone created a tower moment for you. Or you did. My um, left ear is itching. I'm going to stick it in my ear. It could be someone talking shit about you or trying to um, plot against you. This strength card is about having strength or a Leo. Something is overwhelming or a burden. Maybe your family is. Maybe the secret that you cheated and you're not going to get away with it. And you wish that things turned out differently. So 
you could have cheated and wish that things turned out differently. But Seven of Swords said you are going to get caught in some way. What is the Seven of Swords? We got a lot of cheating readings for the last three, three months. Let's see. Eight of Swords. You're trapped in some type of... You feel mentally bound in prison. What's the Seven... What is the... um se Seven of Swords of Earth and the Eight of Swords? Um, the Knight of Cups, Justice, and the Page of Pentacles. You feel, okay, so you gave your heart, or there was a love offer, and you did something deceptive, and you must make atonement for it in judgment. Um, a page of pentacles. Sorry, y'all, I told y'all. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> I just told y'all, didn't I tell y'all, I'm going to make this, I'm going to finish this reading in my house, because literally, I just said, this bug was going to be back, didn't I say that, I thought it wasn't, but, <sighs> let's see if I can finish the reading, because it's getting good, it's getting good, it's getting good, bitch, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to try, I'm going to try, but this B come over here one more time, I'm going to freak out, like y'all know I hate fucking bees, okay, so, Justice is about a legal situation going negative or not having enough money. Maybe you're incarcerated for 10 weeks or 10 weeks or 10 months. Or it's a burden to your family in some way. The worst is over. You got caught and you wish things turned out differently. The legal system got you, maybe. Could be about imprisonment or you got betrayed by someone in your family about a child perhaps um you had the justice system for a child maybe or a, a love affair that caught up with you i don't know what the page of pentacles is we want to find out though what is the page of pentacles i definitely see lovers and the hangman you made a decision to cheat no doubt about it and it's definitely under the four wands so you did do it um what is the goddamn page of pentacles today? All right, this is the queen of rods. Ooh, you are bored. You turn down an offer of money, maybe, or you see things for what they really are. You're bored with your wife or a fire sign or a girlfriend. Um, you feel like you weren't enough to someone, maybe. Hmm. What is the Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles? I know who the Queen of Wands is, the woman, maybe. The Ace of Cups, yeah. You cheated, you were bored, you did some stupid shit. Now you're looking back at it with some regret. What's the Ace of Pentacles? It just wasn't enough, huh? The world. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Um, you were bored, and you so you ended things with this person, or you were dissatisfied, you ended something with this person, but you didn't, you were mean or miserly towards this person, and it, the Queen of Cups is, something's wrong with her, like, she's not in tune, Some she's not right, what's the Queen of Cups with her? Or an emotional and discriminatory situation. Yeah, she got money. I of Pentacles can be someone online or someone with a lot of money. What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this did not tell y'all. I really hate this B, I swear. I'm almost done though. Okay, so temperance is about a situation that went left. Could be someone that drinks and they're out of control or you're waiting for the situation to get better. Um, the Knight of Swords. So it could be an argument. And the Ace of Rods, false starts. Maybe you're arguing with someone about money, a false start. Or a situation that you had to wait for a better time. Someone's single. What is the Temperance and the Knight of Swords? It's an argument. It's an argument, though. Something. Okay, so 
the two of pentacles and the nine of cups is about juggling someone maybe a wish to juggle you did something and it went left you fathered a child maybe maybe you were a polygamist and your shit caught up with you and you're trying to get away from it and you're not being a father and you're going to jail for non-child support because the night of the emperor and the will of fortune is about literally like a father figure or someone that is a libra some guy who's a, an asshole and the will of fortune is like stuff ending up badly so you had a wish that turned on you hmm Okay, Taurus, y'all gotta get y'all shit together. Okay, father and children and looking around. Somebody told me, an astrologer told me, or a psychic reader told me that Taurus are the biggest holes. The biggest holes of the zodiac besides Libra and Sagittarius. Scorpio is known for holes, so we're not gonna put them in here. Alright, let's end it with. I love intuition and cards. Let's see, what's the love energy? The Taurus of October. All right. Um, integrity. So somebody is not being honest. Somebody's lying. Here and now. So, so, and lying about a relationship that's already present. Addiction. Someone is addicted to sex. Warning. There is red flags that are calling out to this relationship. And faith. It's meant to be found out. So, Taurus, if you're doing something deceptive, oh, believe me, rejection. You are definitely going to get rejected. If you are homeless because you were cheating on your old lady or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your ass is going to be out, motherfucker. On your ass. Let's see. Let's look at this addiction card. I want to know what the fuck that's about, Taurus. Nine of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You like to juggle or gamble. Either you like to juggle women or you like to gamble. You have a wish to gamble or juggle. And it's not going, it's, it's just not. Mm -mm. May, you either are addicted to gambling or you're addicted to cheating. Or having two of what you want and it does not work out for you. Two of Pentacles is not upright. It's reversed. You want a lot of women or a lot of options. And the motherfucking options are not working for you. What is integrity for Taurus? Seven of Cups and Five of Pentacles. Getting yourself out of these fucking temptationless situations. Your ass is always being tempted. Knight of Cups to give an offer of love to another motherfucker. And now you're confused. You need counseling or help. You got secrets up the ass that are coming to light and they're going to come and haunt your ass. Then you got warning and faith. Judgment. So the judgment is the revelation card. If you doing something you ain't supposed to be doing, Taurus, your ass gonna be fucked. Fuck. The Four of Cups. So, um, boredom. You did something in boredom. Eight of Cups. You were, not only were you bored, you were drunk. Or you just, just wild it out. You didn't even give a fuck. That's about having a good old time. Five of Wands. Now you gotta fight with your old lady competing or something like that. What's the eight of cups and the goddamn five of wands? Somebody, man, old oh man, man, family, eight of wands, eight of cups. So you were bored in your happiness, and so you decided that you were going to drift away and go somewhere else. And now you're fighting um, with family. What's the inference of Why is she reversed? This woman burnt out. A, uh, five of cups, healing. Going to heal a situation, Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You want to tell the truth, but there's a problem here. The Queen of Wands don't give a fuck what you got to say. In reverse, that's a Leo, a motherfucking Aries, or a motherfucking Sagittarius. And I know Sagittarius don't want to hear nothing you got to say. You could tell the truth all day to this motherfucker, and they don't hear nothing. They just want to pull their sword out like, yeah, okay. Shit. Hope you ain't dating no Sagittarius like my husband in there. The devil, you want to break free from this third party relationship or you want to break free from being trapped in some type of confirming situation that you about to be confirmed in. Uh, 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 uh. You be getting yourself in some fucked up situations now, don't you? You'll be past, present, or future, by the way. 
Now, let's get your angel cards. Or, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, one fell out. God reflection. How you see others or how you see yourself. The angel of pleasure. Yeah, you sure did have a whole lot of pleasure, didn't you, Taurus? Alright. I ain't even get a chance to shuffle. Spirit was dropping them pearls, wasn't your spirit? There you go, another one. God, it's the beauty. You are a wondrous light. It doesn't need any fixing. That must be to the women. Let's look. All right. Angel of abundance. Somebody got some money. Ooh, she tore us, but y'all always got money. Angel of joyfulness. Something magical is about to happen, and someone that you love is fondly thinking of you at the moment. So you are important to some person out there, Taurus. And let's get one more. Because you know I love odd numbers. Because I'm an eyeball. That one came out. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Mokai. Okay, the angel of union. A partnership is destined for greatness. So you might be making a new partnership with someone, Taurus. Um, have fun. If you are a single person, have fun. This person is a reflection of you. You're beautiful. Don't change anything, young ladies. Um, you're going to have some type of abundance come to you. Um, joyfulness, something magical is going to occur. You're going to be blessed with a great union, and you're going to be fondly thought of. So these are really good cards. I mean, honestly, I couldn't think of anything best, um, better. I do want to look at that pleasure card. What do you mean for pleasure for Taurus within the month of um, October? Uh-oh, these cards want to come out. Okay. Four of Wands is about going out and having fun. Eight of Cups is about wishing things turned out differently. A fight being over. The Empress is a wife or a mother. This is about um, you lost something. So you, you lost something, the Queen of Rods, and your family is broken. So you are going to leave a relationship that you wish turned out differently. There's going to be a resolution, five of wands with the empress, but you will lose, or the empress will lose. Um, what's the five of, uh, five of cups? The king of swords and the three of cups. So there's a third party situation going on with the king of swords. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a um, I say Taurus. Um, I'm looking at these. Okay, king of pentacles. Now that's very interesting. The king and queen of pentacles. I know this is Taurus, and there's a king. See, the king is wrong. He's reversed. His ass should not be reversed. There's a third-party relationship. Nine of wands. There's a third-party relationship going on between two men and a woman. Or two women and a man. A man. Or there could be masculine and feminine personalities. They don't necessarily have to be gender specific. Um... King of Pentacles is reversed. He's not right. He's unethical, or he's broke, or he's immoral. He can easily ball or tempted. He's got a third-party situation going on to himself that we don't even know who that girl is. She could be anybody. Matter of fact, why is there a King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups reversed? It's just to kill the suspicion, right? Queen of Swords, there is another woman here. So there's two people with two people, two lovers. There's a married couple, or there's a dating couple, or there's a poly couple. Each of them got a person. King of Pentacles, Taurus. If you are a male Taurus, you kicked it off. You are in a third-party relationship that you're going to be caught in. And a woman is angry about being the third person and not being known is going to come out and say something and cause an argument with you and yours. She's not going to take it. Your queen is going to cut you off. You're going, your, your relationship's going to be deaded. And she's going to go to the king of king of swords, the Aquarius or the Capricorn or the, um, the, um, the air sign. It could be a Libra or it could be a Gemini. What is the nine of wands in her? Yeah, she's going to move. She's going to move. Knight of Rods is about moving. Sagittarius and Scorpio, they're going to move. They're going to leave you alone. They're going to, that's why it seems like someone is moving or homeless. This person can't take this. This person has said, I'm done. You are stuck in this situation. How does Taurus feel about that? 
created it though. Justice. They feel like it's not fair. Title card. Yeah, they they upset about it. Um, the fool and the knight of swords. So someone, their idea is to leave. The judgment is about someone being critical, and the criticalness of the king of cups could be a father figure. Um, someone that's addictive. So someone has an addiction and or they are drunk or they have a lot of drug problems and um the judgment here someone they feel like the person's being very judgmental of their of their situation what is judgment in the king of cups reverse the queen of cups so the queen of cups the intuitive one could be a cancer pisces scorpio is looking at the king of cups her king like you ain't shit but you ain't shit though you got a water sign, moon, or rising, or Venus. If you're doing this shit, you ain't shit. Yeah, a new beginning, a star. See, star is before the tower, which is very, very, very fucked up. Because the tower should be here, but it's not here. A new beginning makes an old foundation fall apart. And someone is really fighting against that. They feel like they're backed into a corner to make the the tower because the tower is supposed to be first you're supposed to let your shit demolish and then it's rubble but the new beginning causes the tower and now you're like you know something came to light that what if someone became a star or something was revealed that shouldn't have been um the world is about going back and working on something that you paused you're burnt out in your work maybe and you have to choose between two conflicting situations. So I definitely feel like, Taurus, if you are dipping and dabbing, you are going to get caught in the most weirdest way. Some woman is mad at you for keeping her secret. Or you could be this cross watcher. You tired of being secret. You want to come out. Come out. Come out the closet. Don't don't be nobody's secret. What, if, that, if that dude did what he did, he can come out. Because you could help the woman. The woman probably don't even fucking know. If it was my husband, I'd want to know. So, if it's shit, if my husband tell me, he emailed me. I, I love receipts like the next bitch. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody, somebody is going to get outed. And I, wait, if it's you, give me some tea, bitch, because I can't wait. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And it's been a pleasure. So, thank you so much. And have a nice day. Bye.